Hi there guys, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you um, well, the basics of using the camera tool in Adobe After Effects CS4 or CS5. So, I'm just going to make mine the HD settings here, the 720 and the 29.97 frames per second. And I'm just going to be making it about 10 seconds long. So, once we've got it, I'm just going to add some text. Um, so we're going to be working around this. I spelled that wrong. Oh, no. yeah. Just edit this. Alright. So I'm just going to have this text here. Um, the font I'm using is 28 days later. Um, so we're going to be working around this. I'm just going to go up to effect once on this. And I'm just gonna add a um to generate and I'm just gonna add a fill. And I'm just gonna make this a just this is light blue colour. And then just make it stand out a bit more. I'm gonna go back up to effect. Make sure I want it. Effect and I'm gonna choose stylize. Stylize and I'm gonna choose glow. I'm just gonna add the glow intensity to about three. To give it this, no, two, sorry, just to give it this little effect. So I'm just going back to the project. And you're just going to need to make this 3D here, this 3D layer here. You're going to have to click that. And that's fine. That should be alright for now. Um, I'm just going to click on it and just take this little thing here over. Oh, sorry. I'm using the wrong tool. Make sure you've got this tool here shown. And I'm just going to take this to the middle, like so. And that should be alright. Once that's done, um, you're going to have to go up to Layer, New and Camera. I'm just going to choose the 35mm. It doesn't really matter. I don't know why. It doesn't really. But just click OK. And it'll come up like this. And we've got different camera angles. We've got the N, I, whatever, Orbit, the Track, Y, Z and the Cam, Z. No, the X, Y and the Z. So let me just go through some of these. The Orbit tool moves around this text yeah very popular one um, let's get it back to normal so say say if I want and um, oh, I'll just go through them all again so that one moves around you got the track YZ that can move it over whatever um, and you've got the um, Z that goes in and out like so so say I want my text to be out here. The best thing you can probably do is on camera choose P for position. And this brings up this little stopwatch and position. And I'm just going to choose the stopwatch to make a keyframe. And say at half a second, I'm just going to zoom in to this text. Like so. Um, so now if you watch, the camera obviously goes in. So I'll, um, I'll show you this after. But as you can see, it just goes in. Um, I'm just going to take it to about one second. I'm going to choose the orbit tool. And I'm just going to sort of orbit around this by taking it out, like so. Um, let's just see if this, this works nice. Oh, well, into there. And as you can see, it orbits to here. <coughs> Sorry. Once it's here, I'm going to go back to in a little bit. And I'm going to choose this Z. And, no, not Z. Um, no, I'm just going to use the orbit tool. And um, also what you can do is um, you can mess around by making this zoom in and out by on the positions. You can use P and at this you can um, choose this to come side to side. So I'm just not going to mess around with that. I'm not going to go there. Um, but yeah, so this this looks alright. So once it's here, um, I'm going to take it to about two seconds. And I'm going to get this orbit tool to go around to the other side. So that's pretty quick. It's going to move around pretty quick. Then at three seconds, I'm going to have it go back to the middle. Like so. So that's a cool little thing here. So if I just drag this to the end, I'm just going to just render this now to show you. Well, not really render it, but I'm going to choose this. And if you don't know what this is, this sort of does is just go through every single thing we've just done. And after a while, it'll over and over play it. So you can watch in 
in detail to make sure this is right. So as you can see, it's a really smart effect and this does go well with 3D text that I will be doing a tutorial on soon. So as you can see, it flies right in close to it. And that's That looks amazing in an intro. That's a really good thing to do. Um, like so. So yeah, um, that's a really good thing to do. So, um, but this that's the camera tools. So I just let me let this load. Yeah. So, yeah, it will. Oh, for some reason it does that. But I'm just gonna play it now. As you can see, and it comes right through. So it's a bit too movie. So if it is, um, if you know what I mean by that, it's a bit too fast. Um, up to here is all right. This is nice. Maybe a little bit more. And you can just spread out these keyframes and they all move. They're all, they're not going to do anything wrong. Um, so, yeah, so that's it. It's going to work well. So that's the camera tools. I'm just going to go through what they all do again. So you've got the orbit tool here that moves this um, around like so. Yeah, get me? You have um, this um, YZ that moves out. A YX, sorry. No, X, Y, and the Z that moves in and out. So that's it, really. Um, it's basic. It's it's not hard to do. Um, yeah. I don't know what I've done now. This has gone a bit weird. Um, yeah. So once you want to get it out of here, um, you can go up to File, and you can choose, uh, no, sorry, Composition, and add to the Render Queue. What this does is it's going to um, add it to the render queue, and then um, if you choose render, it will render this video. You can choose the settings. I've chosen mine to the best settings, the lossless code, and I chose it the output to my desktop. So now it will render it out, and that's it. So easy tutorial, not much really to do. So that's it. Thanks, guys.